Hello there. This is where the fun begins. When will Thrawn finally make his return in the Ahsoka show is the biggest question as of right now for many Star Wars fans. And now that three episodes of Ahsoka are officially released on Disney+, Plus, many fans are wondering when Grand Admiral Thrawn will make his first appearance. And so far, Ahsoka got fans up to speed on certain characters, relationships between the ending of Star Wars Rebels and this point in the Star Wars timeline after the events of the original trilogy and after returning Return of the Jedi. In that 30 year gap of between Return of the Jedi that leads us up to the sequel trilogy with The Force Awakens. Episodes 1 through 3 showcased how Rosario Dawson's Ahsoka Tano and Natasha Lou Bardizzo's Sabine Wren were master and apprentice at some point in the past, while also getting up on how Morgan Elsbeth, Balin Skull, and Shin Hadi will locate Thrawn in a completely different galaxy. However, the cunning villain himself, Thrawn, still has yet to be shown on screen and it seems as though that he may not be seen until later in the show at this point. There really hasn't been much of an indication to as of when Theron will make his live action debut in the Ahsoka show. At the end of episode 3, Ahsoka and Sabine landed on the planet of Ceotis, and Morgan Elsbeth's hyperspace ring is still currently in construction still, so she is not quite ready to blast off into another galaxy just yet. Based on the trailers and marketing promotional material for the show that was released prior to Ahsoka's debut on Disney+, Plus. it looks as though that if Episode 4 will still be set in a, the Star Wars galaxy as well that we already know, as it appears that Sabine and Shin will have a rematch, and Ahsoka and Morak the Inquisitor will also have a rematch, as Ahsoka and Sabine will have some fighting to do before the second half of the show comes around and continues on. For example, one teaser had featured footage of a lightsaber duel between Ahsoka and and Morak in the forest of Ceotis, as I had mentioned. At the same time, it also is teased that Ahsoka and Balin will cross blades on that same planet within the structure that Morgan has used to activate the star map. It is also important to note that the Ahsoka actress Rosier Dawson let slip a minor spoiler that that battle will take place in episode 4 and will also include Sabine in a rematch with Shin Hadi, as I had mentioned. I have a whole nother video that I just put out before this video here on the channel for you guys to check out, talking about that in more detail and in more depth. Since Rosario Dawson has stated that these sequences will take place in Episode 4, it is highly unlikely, maybe even impossible, that Thrawn will make an appearance in Episode 4, unfortunately, unless it's just, like, single-handedly just him without Morgan Elsbeth or anybody else, like, actually coming to him. And Morgan Elsbeth will also likely be finishing her hyperspace ring in Episode 4 as well, hopefully, probably, so she will wouldn't be necessarily ready to travel quite yet anyway. So it seems that episode 4 is probably off of that slate for maybe Thrawn finally making an appearance in the Ahsoka show. Of course, unless, as I had to mention, that it's just a single scene, like something that we would see at the very end of the episode, episode 4, maybe Morgan Elsbeth takes off in the hyper ring and like it shows up on Thrawn's monitor or radar that there is like a giant hyperspace ring headed toward him or something of that nature, which is something I honestly highly doubt that we would see at the very least with episode 4. That is a possibility for episode 5 or the continuing episodes of the show of course. And so, while it is extremely unlikely that Grand Admiral Thrawn will be featured in episode 4 of Ahsoka, episode 5 does seem a little bit more promising. Most of the remaining unseen footage from the trailers seems as though that it will make up those fights in episode 4, leaving the rest of the show really just a clear cut mystery aside from the two stills and shots that we have of Thrawn. Which is always fun and interesting to see going forward with every Star Wars show, it seems as though that most of the trailer footage is used and made up of at least the first three episodes or so of that show, such as for Andor, Obi-Wan Kenobi, all seasons of The Mandalorian, and The Book of Boba Fett. This is a pattern that we've seen with all live-action Star Wars shows. By the time Episode 5 rolls around, Ahsoka, Balin, Shin, Sabine, and Morak will likely have finished their duels on Ceotis, and Morgan's hyperspace ring will probably be fully operating and complete as well. It is entirely possible though that Morgan will finally be on her way to the location of Paredia, this new extra galactic location of Thrawn, this new galaxy, near the beginning of episode 5, meaning that Thrawn may finally make his grand entrance at the end of episode 5, but that's just a fingers crossed. A shot from one of 
the teasers did feature Thrawn on the hyperspace ring as well, so fans can definitely expect to see him aboard the vessel at some point. It may be as soon as Episode 5, though. Another shot from the trailer has even showcased the Grand Admiral once again in a location with a darker background. It is possible, though, that this shot could also be aboard the hyperspace ring. It is also important to note that Dave Filoni will be directing Episode 5 as well, and seeing as how he has played such a, a large role in the bringing of Thrawn to TV screens for the first time in Star Wars Rebels, it would make perfect sense for him to be the director behind the character's first appearance in live action as well, which is I, what I'm putting my money on, is that we'll see Thrawn in Episode 5, if for anything. And while it is possible, and it feels very possible for Thrawn to show up in Episode 5, maybe it's not the case. What if Thrawn shows up later in Ahsoka? Maybe by the time we roll around to Episode 6, 7, or even 8 with the finale. Thrawn will most likely be featured for the first time at the end of Episode 5, as I had mentioned, but it is possible that his debut could be delayed and is something that we could see later on in the show. Traveling to another galaxy is something that has never really happened in Star Wars canon, so Morgan could very well face some troubles on her journey that will ultimately delay her reunion with Thrawn. Maybe it takes a really long time for her to actually get there, like an episode or two worth. Also, Thrawn is such an important and a mysterious villain that Filoni may want to save him for the very end of the season and the show, especially if he will make such a huge impact on the overall story as a whole. And it's really just this Ahsoka show is just a stepping stone for such a much larger picture, that one that we might not even be able to comprehend at this point. I definitely feel, though, that Thrawn will be the main villain of Dave Filoni's Mandoverse film that had been announced a little bit earlier this year at Star Wars Celebration. If Disney and Lucasfilm are planning a second season of Ahsoka, it may serve that the overall narrative better to reveal him in either Episode 7 or even the finale with Episode 8 of Season 1, setting him up as the true main antagonist for Season 2 and beyond that, as I had mentioned. And since there are already so many other villains in Season 1, such as Balin, Shin, Morgan Elspeth, and Morag, Thrawn's introduction might feel a little bit overwhelming at that and overweighing if all of those other characters are still there alongside with him and have already been quite villains throughout the first season. However, when Thrawn does actually roll around for Ahsoka, what will be his role actually? When Thrawn does inevitably show up, his presence will be felt in a very major way. It seemed like Ahsoka was deeming him the heir to the Empire in trailer footage, so that is a big title in and of itself. If Thrawn does come into the fold by the end of Episode 5, he will pose as a major threat to all of the antagonists in Ahsoka. And since Ahsoka, Sabine, and Hera are trying to find Ezra at the same time, and Ezra is more than likely at the same planet, or the very least the same galaxy as Thrawn, there could definitely be a Star Wars Rebels-style showdown between the heroes and the villains in Episode 8. However, due to Thrawn's intelligence and the likelihood that he will be the main antagonist for really the rest of the Mandoverse, especially with Dave Filoni's Mandalorian Mandoverse movie, as I had mentioned, that had been announced a little bit earlier this year at Star Wars Celebration. He may even be as successful in stopping them at the end of the season and really actually be the one that wins something of that nature, similar to what we see with Avengers Infinity War, leaving them stranded in the other galaxy while he and Morgan return to the normal Star Wars galaxy, I think could be an insane, like, Star Wars twist. I'll talk about that in another video here on the channel in more detail and in more depth as a Star Wars theory. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. What do you want to see with Thrawn in the Ahsoka show, and when do you think he'll actually appear? I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been an official Star Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one, guys. May the Force be with you as always. Peace out.